Hey, what's up, Coach? Good afternoon. Good to see you again, man. I wanted to ask you about a two-part question here. One, one previous game, one upcoming game. The first one, you know, AJ Brown had two for forty-one in this game. I was just curious how you, how the plan was to defend him, and how you thought you guys did in that regard. You know, uh, uh, there was various ways we were going to defend him. You know, uh, obviously you have Xavier Howard matching up on him, and you know, different times you had Byron on him in different situations. Uh, you know, one of the catches were in zone. Uh, the other catch was a man to man, man to man play. Uh, you know, so ultimately, I thought we kept him away from actually, you know, taking over the game uh, and making plays in, you know, critical situations. So, you know, I thought we did a solid job on him. You know, there's a few few plays that you would want back, but uh, I thought the guys went out and did a solid job. Thanks. And then my next question would be about the Patriots upcoming this week. I always find it fascinating when a team plays a, a certain team week one, then again, the final game of the season for the kind of bookends. It just over the course of a season, you saw, you saw them in September. Now you're preparing for them here in January. What have you seen from their offense that's kind of changed and evolved over that time? You know, I really think the uh, it really starts with the quarterback. You know, I think the quarterback is uh, mm -hmm. operating very well with the offense. Uh, I think he's, you know, making good decisions. I think he's decisive. Um, then from a receiving standpoint, you know, uh, I think they're all playing well, uh, you know, born, uh, you know, really it starts with Myers. I think Myers is a really good football player uh, from blocking, um, you know, run after catch, catching, getting open, running good routes. Uh, you know, you still have Nikhil Harry, good possession receiver, you know, so I, th I think it's a really solid group and uh, I'm interested and excited for this challenge. All right, thanks, Coach. Yep. Barry? Charles, uh, how would you assess how Nick Needham has played this year? I think Nick, Nick has done a really good job, uh, especially, especially, you know, uh, just providing flexibility within the defense. You know, he's lined up on the perimeter, lined up at the slot, lined up at safety. Uh, and he's been productive, you know, and he's actually started in safe, at safety, you know, in the game, you know. So I think anytime you have a defensive player that, you know, provides you that type of flexibility, uh, it's always a good thing. And especially for a guy who works at it as hard as Nick, who prepares as hard as Nick, uh, you know, I'm really happy for him. I want to ask you also about Noah. Obviously, thank God your starting corner stayed healthy all mm -hmm. year. Uh, mm -hmm. So you didn't see him a lot defensively in games. Do you still, after two years, have any idea what you exactly have in Noah as a cover corner? You know, uh, I think Noah's main focus is really just coming to work and getting better. You know, and, and as long as, as long as he keeps doing that, you know, uh, and when his opportunity does arrive, he just has to take a, take advantage of it. Uh, you know, fortunately, we have guys that are at the perimeter playing at a high level, and uh, you know that just is what it is at the, at this point in time. But just Noah just needs to keep working and getting better each day, and just focus whenever that opportunity does arrive, just take full advantage of it. And I want to ask one more, Veer, if I could. Charles, uh, with Noah, what is the NFL skill that leads you to believe that hopefully he will have success as an NFL corner if needed? Uh, well, just his athletic ability. You know, uh, I think he, he he definitely has tools to be successful in the league. Uh, but there's a lot more to that. Not saying that he doesn't have those other things, but it's just not necessarily an athletic skill. There's a lot of athletic guys that have came in the NFL at that particular position, uh, but there, there's more that goes into it. So uh, it's not just necessarily being a really good athlete, you know, it's the preparation, um, it's the instincts, it's, you know, the film, it's all of that encompassing that can really change a game and take it to a high level. Thank you. Mm -hmm. David? Hey, Coach, and just to follow up on, on Noah, what will you leave him with going into the offseason as far as an area or areas you want to see him improve? Uh, you know, the main thing is, you know, routine, attention to detail and being self-motivated. Again, not saying that he's not. That's just with everybody that I've, that I've coached. It, it's the like those three things, you know, if, if you do those at a high level, it's going to put you in a position to do good things when your opportunity arrives again. Uh, he has two guys in front of him that are playing at a high level. So, and those guys in the off season, they will have the same uh, message to him from me, you know, attention to detail, great routine, and just being self-motivated and being able to get up and work at the same techniques at a consistent basis over a long period of time. Barry? 
Charles wanted to ask you a similar question with Pro Williams. Obviously, it's on an intriguing package in August. What's the NFL caliber skill he has that makes you guys want to invest in him moving forward? I think you have versatility with Trill as well. Uh, you know, a guy that can play on the perimeter, possibly match up against tight ends. Um, you know, he's played safety. You know, he has a background at safety, you know, so uh, that's a guy that can potentially move around and maybe play in the box. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited about moving forward with Trill and seeing what we have with him. And for Byron this year, obviously he's been really solid. Uh, has there been, you think, improvement in 2021 for him over 2020 with Byron Jones? I thought there was. I thought there definitely was improvement with Byron. Uh, you know, I thought there was more ball production, not necessarily from an interception standpoint, but just affecting the ball from a PBU standpoint. Uh, you know, being in position, uh, just understanding more, understanding and getting more comfortable with the scheme. And I think that's really what you saw this year, just another year two in this game. He was very comfortable with what we were asking him to do. Uh, and then he was able to match up against some elite tight ends and, uh, you know, really shut him down. So, uh, again, that's another guy that I thought was very consistent this year and did a really good job for us.